Hello and welcome to Cards of the Week. The first card is number 173 titled, Oh, Hello There Chewbacca. Let's learn more about the legendary adventures of Chewbacca. Han Solo and Chewbacca were later tasked with finding a power gem as their means to destroy the Executor by Princess Leia. Their first stop was to Junkport Station. Chewbacca discovered from a local barfly, an agent of Mistra, a potential lead for where a power gem might be found, in Raskar's possession on Antipose. However, because of his attempting to learn directions from the barfly, he was distracted from saving Han from would-be assassins that were hired by Jabba the Hutt, eventually realizing and saving Han at the last second by picking the two up and throwing them out of the cantina. He then supplied the lead to an irate Han. Eventually, they discovered that the lead was genuine and Han arranged for Chewbacca to fight in Han's place, to Chewbacca's initial anger. However, Han planned to have Chewbacca fight the primary candidate for the gem outside of the arena in an all-out brawl as a means to distract Mistra and Raskar while he got into the power gem arena, analyze the extent of its power, and then steal or otherwise negotiate getting it. Eventually, he got tired out although unfortunately for the reigning champion, that only made Chewbacca more ferocious. Eventually, they managed to gain the power gem in exchange for keeping quiet to the anti-pose contestants about the weakened state of the power gem, although Han later admitted to Chewbacca that he plans to return later to loot Raskar of his ill-gotten gains as Raskar's punishment for his scam operation. That's it for now. More information on the next Chewbacca card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's Star Quiz! In the cantina, how much money does Han demand for his services before Ben suggests an alternative deal? The next card is number 174, titled R2's Bumpy Landing. Let's learn more about the legendary adventures of R2-D2. To escape the Zillow Beast, Anakin used his lightsaber to cleave the ship clean in half, sending the bow and all six passengers sliding down the exterior of the Senate Rotunda. R2-D2 skidded down the side of the building and used his tow cable to catch himself in place. C-3PO landed atop him but the astromech droid Sue disengaged himself from the cable and used his booster rockets to make his way over to Palpatine. The Senate Commando sacrificed himself to the rampaging Zillow Beast as the Chancellor rode a flying R2-D2 to safety. Clone troopers in LAT gunships used gas bombs to kill the creature and end the threat it posed to Coruscant citizens, and the poison they emitted was held back with the force of Anakin, as well as Yoda and Ayla Secura. R2-D2, Palpatine, and the three Jedi remained safe from the poisonous gas, as did Padme and C-3PO, who had also safely landed. The following morning, the entire party was present as a Zillow Beast corpse was taken away from the scene. That's it for now. More information on the next R2-D2 card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's Star Quiz! What is the number of the bay where the Millennium Falcon is docked at Mos Eisley Spaceport? Here are the answers to the previous cards. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. Boba Fett. All right, those are the cards of the week. Look out for the next cards. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.